Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. And today we are decorating that masterboard journal that we made a couple of videos back. We're going to do the decorating for it. I've already started a few little things, but mostly I have just placed things in the pages where I want them, and we'll go through and get those um, adhered in and fixed. Um, I'm using quite a bit of my items that I have made in past M Scrapbusters videos, and I will point those out throughout the decorating process. And I also will have the M Scrapbusters um, video playlist linked in the description box below. So, the other day we did the cover and we did the five uh, pamphlet stitch binding on it. We added our grommets or our um, eyelets and then some seam binding for the um, closure. We added our pockets on the inside, our signature in, okay? So now we are adding things to our pockets and decorating our pages. So I have this sheet here that um, I have backed with a piece of cardstock and I'm gonna ink all of my edges and that's gonna be my other piece that goes in this pocket. I'm gonna have a little tag with some um, uh, trim at the top of it. This is a piece that I made from a master board, and that was just a little card that was left over from the master board. I placed that in there, just simple inked, no tassel or anything at the top of it. I apologize for this, the last, what, four videos. Um, I have not given myself a boo-boo by any means. I'm not hurt. It is just covering up one of my nails that broke off. <laughs> And um, I'm just keeping a Band-Aid there until I can get back to the salon um, <laughs> to get my nails redone. So I just put a Band-Aid on every time I start a video so you won't have to look at that ugly broken nail. So that's what that's all about, if anybody was wondering. Not that anybody was wondering about that at all. All right, and I have this little piece that... Um, I had left over from one of the M Scrapbusters videos where we made our own um, labels, tags and labels. So I'm going to, instead of this way, I'm going to put it on in the middle, long ways there. And someone was asking about my glue bottles the other day. Um, I normally say that in the videos. These are sugar bell bottles. They're actually for baking, icing cakes. But sugar bell bottles, this is the eight ounce. Here is the little four ounce. And um, these caps are actually not the caps that go with these. I've still got to get those. But they're on back order from our manufacturer. And uh, these are just for uh, knitting needles, the tops of knitting needles. And these are sugar bell bottles. They're very, very easy squeeze. So even when you're at the very bottom of having any glue in these bottles, you do not have to struggle to um, squeeze them. And there I um, dropped my label and I will have to wipe off excess glue. Oh well, just gives me even more of a vintage look, huh? All right, I'm gonna scoot it over to the middle. Okay, and then wipe off excess. And then I'm going to use my little slit punch, slot punch, whatever it is, from Stamp It Up. It was years and years and years ago, so I don't know if um, they make it anymore or if it's been discontinued. They're uh, very good about discontinuing stuff that people love. Um, I've been saying for years, if they would bring back the um, 
tab punch that they had all those years ago, the Welltail tab punch, um, they could make their money over, I mean, in the whole years that they've been open, that they've been in manufacturing, they could make all of that money over tenfold if they would just bring back that Welltail tab punch. I, I mean, that is crazy how many people are looking for that punch alone. And they're the only people that I think actually made, I mean, they have a patent on whatever that shape is. Okay, so there is my little, I went all the way as far as I could because I want my ribbon to show more here too than just at the tippy top. And I got out some um, organza ribbon from my stash. Um, I'm loving that I'm able to decorate this journal with a bunch of stash stuff. So that makes me very, very happy. All right, and let's take that off. And let me see, do I want to, I think I want to tie it at the top in a knot. So I'm just gonna put one side through See how far I want it to go up. Not that far, but I want enough so I can tie a good knot and then have plenty left. So that looks about good. And we will get two slanted ends there. Okay. And then tie a square knot at the top of this. Here we go, and then let's tie it tighter there, and then over again. There we go. I like that. Cute, and so the ribbon shows a little bit more than it normally would on a tag. And then we put it in here. Here and then that ribbon is going to show out the top of our journal too, so I really love that. Okay, so there are our two little pieces for our front pocket there, and then this is one of those dangly um, hidden paper clips that we made in the M Scrap Busters, and it's got little bitty pockets on there. I don't know where my voice went just now. Little bitty pocket. <laughs> All right, and then this was, I'm going to leave quite a few pages um, as is for journaling for whoever gets this because, yes, this uh, journal will be for sale in the shop. Um, yep, after this uh, video loads and is loaded on, this journal will be for, for sale in the shop. Um, that is just a piece of that watercolor uh, paper that we had splattered and made tags with a few um, videos back and that's just some little ephemera. I used a stamp to look like some wonky stitching there. And then that is some of the Tim Holtz fabric tape. I thought that went really well with this journal. Here's one of our little patchwork pockets that we made, one of our most popular M Scrap Busters to date videos with some torn paper inside of it. It's got some patchwork there, and then I made a little tuck here for these two little vellum pieces. And we are gonna adhere that pocket to this page here. So I'm gonna use my fourth inch score tape and some liquid glue. Since this is a little thicker, we'll, um, Try to get it maybe to hold on as tight as possible. And then I think I will put a piece through the middle here. Whoop, tore that off long, didn't I? All right, and then there. And then let's take off our backing here.
right, and then get our bone folder. And I'm gonna take these out just for the time being so I can burnish that down really well. There we go. There's our little patchwork pocket onto that page. Cute. All right, this little tuck I did off camera, it is just a piece of scrap paper, more scraps. This is a cut apart, another piece of scrap, and then a piece of lace we put there. And then this is just some ink dyed paper that I folded up. You can fold it one more time, make it look like an envelope. I just needed it tall for that tuck. So that was done off camera. We've got Dolly here. Here's one of our V cut pockets that we did in one of our M scrap busters. And I think I will put that pocket there just to give that um, some weight to it. So let's put that on with some score tape and liquid glue also. And everything I'm putting in this journal will be with it when it is sold too. So everything we're putting in here, some of these things I cherish. So y'all are getting, <laughs> y'all are getting some of my cherished items in here, but I can always make more. It is so easy to decorate a journal when you already have some projects, little projects made that are great additions to junk journals. Um, I also have a playlist for those things, like um, things that you could put into a journal very easily. I have a playlist for those. So I'll um, add that to the description box below also, so that you can see other things, not just the M Scrap Busters videos, but other things that are great additions to junk journals. So on that little book page, we have a pullout for journaling spot, and then this teeny tiny little tuck on the front of this V-cut pocket for more journaling or something there. Okay, and then... On this page, we're going to make a stacked bag pocket. So we're going to do just a little bit of decorating. We're going to glue the edges here, make a little notch there. I'm gonna, let's see, let's go ahead and cover it first. This is the um, paper that we used for our front and back pockets here. So let's move this aside, making sure of what page we're on there. And let's get this little bag covered and we can add all sorts of little goodies to this bag if we want to. Um, I think I want to mat it so that you can see the bag behind. So I think I will go, let's make some marks on this. About there, and that gives me my cut points that I need. Let's get this bigger trimmer up here and get this cut. All right, I'm using Vintage Photo Oxide ink as my distressed edge color. All right, and I'm going almost all the way down to where we folded it there. Yep, that looks good. I'm going to glue that on. Look how pretty that background paper is. Too cute. Love it. Hate that I'm covering it up, but love that background paper too. That's my blue color. I love blue. 
I love teal and aqua mostly in the blue family, but love me some blue. All right, and let's get off this excess here. And then make our knot with our one and a half inch circle punch and just kind of eyeball the middle here. Okay, and I am leaving that rough up there. I love that. I love how that looks. And this is the only paper bag pocket that will be in this journal, so we won't have too much bulk to it. Let's ink these edges. And then lay that down. Make sure we might need a little bit more glue over here, it looks like. Okay. And wipe off our excess and then put glue just on the edges here. And then before we adhere it, ink that top and I'm not, I don't think I'm going to notch that. And then fold that up for a little bottom pocket tuck there. Get off the excess off of our edges. I love paper bag pockets because you don't have to worry about the bottom. It's already got the bottom in it, so you don't have to uh, do anything to that. Now, let's see what we want to put here. I think maybe that paper. That's some pretty paper. I like that. So let's cut this paper. Let's leave some mat on it also. And cut this paper about here and there. Got me a nice blue um, marker so that I can see up against all of this brown that I use. Uh, someone the other day in comments was asking about this trimmer. This is a Tim Holtz Tonic guillotine trimmer, and we do have those in the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com, and I just got blue ink on it. Um, so if you were wanting that trimmer, we do have those in stock, and try to keep them in stock because they are very popular. Now, I am going to go ahead and try to get that blue jelly roll ink off my trimmer. Be right back. All right. And then last little chomp on that. And we'll get that put on there. Oh, I think I'm going to... No, I like that. I like that it's a little wider than that one. I like that. I'll keep it like that. So let's ink the edges of this. And then glue all of that down. And you could just glue uh, the three sides and make this a little tuck on top of that. But I don't want to put too much bulk in this journal. Okay, and then move that to the center there and up a little bit. I think that looks good. Maybe up a hair on that side. And then wipe off excess glue. Okay, so we have that bottom pocket there and a top pocket there. That is going to go beautifully there on that page. I love that. So pretty. Let's get a 5 8 inch score tape. Sorry for that crinkling. 
But when you have brand new score tape, yay! <laughs> a little crinkling must be involved. Let's get my sticky scissors to help me out with this wide score tape. And then I'll put liquid glue down the middle here. Okay, take my backs off. And sometimes with paper bag, this the backs of this score tape doesn't want to play well. Just because you've got a thin surface you're putting it on. But just wiggle, wiggle, and work with it, and it'll eventually happen. All right, and I'm going to go really good and thick with the glue along that pieced part of the bag. And this was just a bag that I had in my stash that had um, things in it. I'm going to line this up with that notebook paper there. Yep, it was just something that I had bought and things come in it. And so I just thought, okay, this would be very cute in that master board um, journal that we made. All right, I found these flowers, bow bunny flowers in my stash also and thought they were so cute as maybe a little tuck-in stuff. So look at that, how cute that little thing is. I love it. And then maybe this little maroon one too. Cute little tuck-in there. And then I know that I've got a tag or something that will go in there. It's a little taller. Let's look. I might not. I might have to make something to go in there. Yep. Probably so. Let's come back to that because I might just leave that empty for whoever gets it can put in their own little treasures in there. But I do like those flowers. All right, notebook paper. This is one of the ephemera flips, a floating um, ephemera pocket. It's got all kinds of little tags and stuff in it, and that can be personalized by whoever gets this. And I thought that was very cute. I want to put that on the middle bottom of that page. Um, it does have that on the back and I don't know, should I make a pocket for it to go in? I guess so, since it is a floating. Oh, I know what I could do. Let's make a belly band right there. And then that can go over the belly band. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so belly band it is with this pretty maroon paper. Looks, it goes right along with that. How pretty is that? All right, this is cardstock. Let's do... About that wide. And I hope this is giving you some um, ideas for decorating your own journal. I know for me, the decorating sometimes is the hardest part. So I love being able to... Um, get decorating done a little easier maybe sometimes all right let's look at width wise where we need to stop here and we don't want to go too far into that curve so we get resistance when we're closing it y'all like my measuring system just kind of put my nail up against it and go okay Whoop, I kept the wrong piece, didn't I? No, I didn't. There we go. <laughs> I thought I'd kept the wrong piece. Okay, we got wording on here, making sure that's the right way up. And it is. 
and I will just put some fourth inch score tape on either side. Okay, let's kind of put it in the middle. It does not have to be exactly, but just making sure that you don't get all the way into that crease so you don't get resistance when you're opening it, opening and closing it. <laughs> oh, no, that's cute. I love that. Little belly band there for that floating ephemera pocket, and then you can get items out of it, journal on the back of it if you would like. That's cute. I like that little floating pocket there. All right, and then this is one of our very first Scrap Buster videos from one of our very first Scrap Buster videos where I laid out the big um, 12 by 12 cardstock and then just placed um, little clusters around on it. So, I thought that went very well with this journal, and I'm just putting it on with some liquid glue, and yep, I've already got my ink all around it, so just thought that it would be a very cute addition to that. Um, if you make anything like this, of course, we could have just done score tape or something around the edges and made that a top tuck, but like I said... I want to leave some of these pages where it's just a lot of journaling for whoever gets it. So I thought that was very cute. This is the side tuck, stack side tuck that we did in our last M Scrap Busters video. And I need to, since that's all one color, I think we're good there. I'm going to ink this. I at first thought mm, I need to cover that, but it's all one color, so I think we're good, and um, the person that gets it, if they want to cover it, they can. I'm just going to dirty it up a little bit, and then get in here, and dirty that up some. And I think we're good there. So we've got that little stack side tuck, where there's all kinds of little uh, snippets in here and great little journaling spots and room to add more if they so wish okay and then oh also if this can also be used like as a bookmark if you have a couple of pages you want to you can use it like that to hold your place in your journal on this uh, book page, we just did one of our masterboard um, tags that we had from one of the previous previous videos, <laughs> and I just clipped it on with a paper clip, so easy peasy on that one. This is one of those book page journal spots, and I think I will also just clip this one on with maybe... A little flower, one of these little blue flowers. Okay, so it's got a journal spot on the back of it. The little blue flower. Well, I'm all regular paper clipped out, I guess. So this is a little leaf paper clip we'll use. And I'm never too good with these as far as where the back is and where the front is. So let's do it like. So, looks like a pepper that way, doesn't it? Oh, well, I'm good with that. <laughs> and then uh, the original, uh, the original, the owner of this can, can change it to a regular paper clip if they want to. Okay, and then Dolly in there, I'm leaving those. And then this can be a tuck space. So we will just put adhesive on the 
three sides and I think for the top and bottom, I'm gonna use this 5 8 inch just so that we get a good secure base on here. And then for this edge, we'll use the 1 4th inch. and then add this in here and we've got a little tab to show on the edge there so get this kind of lined up how we need it same distance all the way down there we go that looks good once that 5 8 inch score tape is down, it is down. So even if I didn't get it exactly correct, it was just going to go there. All right, so there's a nice little tuck spot. We'll get something like that we can put in there. Cute, 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 cute. There. For that page all right this is the little uh middle insert in the signature and we're just going to do a little bit i've already inked around the edges we're just going to do a little bit of glue on the edges here all the way up and we'll have a little pocket for the tops For in here. I don't know why I said tops. I'm still a little medicated from my <laughs> vertigo issues I have. So, <laughs> oh man. Uh, we could put a little master board tag in there. Cute. And maybe another little tag on the other side like so let's see how thick okay yeah we're still going to be good so there's two little tags for that middle signature spot this is just a little lace pull for your page it's got some just a piece of scrap paper i use that same uh stamp sewing looking messy sewing stamp on both sides of that so when you close up your book, it's peeking out of the edge there. All right, and then here's one of our little cameo clusters. I thought looked very cute. And instead of bottom, because we've got a lot of stuff going on on the bottoms of our pages, I thought I would do it in the middle here to the side, just so that you kind of get a little bit of that showing out the edge also. So let's get a piece of 5 8 score tape. Y'all like my score tape. Y'all know that, don't you? And do the edges. And then we will do the middle with some liquid glue. There's that cameo cluster on there. Middle of that page. Gives that page some weight too. Cute. All right, then we've got the back side of that one doily, some beautiful notebook uh, tea stain paper. 
that is one of the ATC pockets that we made in one of our M Scrapbusters video, and I just have it clipped on. Well, look, a regular paper clip. Hmm. Uh, and then you can put little tags or something down in that. I don't know that I've got anything small enough to go in there. Let's look in my little basket of goodies here. Um, I've got banners, but I don't think they're as far as color goes. Something that could go into that. So I might just leave that open for the person that gets it. So there is a little pocket there for a journaling spot, something if you wanted to put that there. All right, uh, here is another one of those uh, book page um, journal spots. And I need a little paper clip again to put that on. So let's see. I can find something in my drawer over here. Look at there. A little yellow one. I think I will put this one up top since the other one was on the bottom. Put that one on top so that it can be taken off and on and journaled on. All right, for this spot, I'm going to get some cardstock and I'm going to put this onto the cardstock and I'm only going to attach it at the top so it can just kind of float fold over this piece of book page. So let's do it like here and then that just gives me my little points I need to cut that with or at. Okay, and then I think what I will do is just use a piece of 5 8 score tape there at the top. And so then it will sandwich over this little piece of book page like that. Isn't that cute? That's a little cute idea. So you've got journaling on the front and then if you had a white um, gel pen, you could also journal on the back. Look at that. That's just darling. If you were to ask me, and nobody did, but oh well. I just think that's darling. I love it. Okay, and you can flip that up. The back side of that can be journaling. This can be journaling. All kinds of little journaling space on that little two-piecer right there. So, handy dandy right there. Love it. Okay, so then that was clipped on. And then this is one of those um, side stack side tucks that we made in the last M Scrap Busters, and I made a little, I just glued it on on the three edges, made a little journaling sandwich right there to go in there with some pulls. So it has one, two, three, four tuck spots. Look at that. Wonderful. Four little tuck spots in that beauty right there. And then on this side, I thought I would add some Rick Rack to the edge of this page. So I'm going to unclip this for the time being. We'll put that back on after we get our Rick Rack put on. So I'm using Fabrifix. And I'm going to dot it all the way. Oh, I'm trying to get the hiccups. All the way down on our rick rack. And my belly's growling. So I'm trying to get the hiccups and my belly's growling. So I've got a lot of things going on, y'all. And then we 
back and cut off that top once this is dry. And we will reclip that on once that's dry. Okay, so there's our rick rack there. We've got our little pull here. Someone had said when I was making that tuck and I showed it in this journal for where I might put it in or might, where I might use it, they said, oh, it looks really, really good on that uh, green ledger paper. So I took your advice and put it on the green ledger page. All right, and then we've just got a page for some nice journaling, nice journaling, more nice journaling. Then we've got some more of that Tim Holtz fabric tape there on that book page. Here, I used one of the um, stacked banners that we made with the M Scrap Busters, and then that is a tuck. It's not glued all the way down, so there's a tuck there that I just put some of that paper, that printed ad paper. More journaling space here and here and here. Then on this little book page here, I put another cameo cluster and just, I glued it all the way down. But if you were to have some kind of like uh, dried baby's breath or something like that, it is open all the way through. So you could put some dried flowers down in that and have it tucked out of the top. That would be very cute. All right, back of that book page is blank. So that would be some awesome journaling space right there. Little decorative dolly and then this is a little uh, vellum pocket that I'm just going to put in here and then the uh, recipient can put in their own um, items inside the vellum pocket so have lots of space in there if they wanted to add some pictures that would be cute all right so I'm holding this so that Fabrifix doesn't Get on anything else and then I thought the sewing that's on this goes really well in this um, journal you know I had that wonky sewing in the very beginning so if we close this let's see where do we want to put this vellum pocket I think I want to layer it a little lower that way if they want to put something in that's a little taller they can yep that looks good right there so let's add that in with our thick, let's see, I'm gonna do a little bit of a pencil mark for where the top needs to go. Okay, and then I might just ink there to cover that up. And I'm just gonna put score tape on both edges. All right, and get our stitching out this way top there Let's scooch it over just a little bit get it lined up how we need it there we go and then down there cute that's a cute little pocket right there. It gives you all kinds of little visual effects through there. All right, and then we've got that little string from the thread sticking out there. Let's go back to our Rick Rack and trim that top piece off there and then kind of fray it at the top. Cute. Love that Rick Rack. I'm a Rick Rack, Rick Rack fan. I love Rick Rack ribbon. Okay, and then let's kind of dirty up that page there. I did not go through and dirty up all or, you know, ink all of my pages in this so whoever gets it can if they want to um this one i think i'm going to add to the middle so and just adhere it top and bottom so it can be a belly band i like that there's one other belly band in this um 
journal. So let me open up my 3 8 inch score tape. Then adhere that one in, and we can add, let's see if I've got a little sheet of something, something. Oh, we've already got one of those in there. Let's do this one maybe. Yep, let's do a couple of sheets right there. Here we go. Add that one in. So that's a little belly band there with a couple of journaling sheets behind it. Cute. Then this is a little tuck that has, um, this is one of the library cards from Betty, uh, from Betty's Custom Design on Etsy. So a little postcard tuck there with a library pocket in it. And then let's do another lace pull on this page. So I've got this, uh, these little tabs that we had made, and that's going to adhere this lace on, and then we will adhere it onto the page. So what I do when I make lace pulls for my journaling pages, I get whatever scrap piece of paper I've got, I get it good and sticky with my Fabrifix, okay? And then on the same sides of my lace, if my little scrap piece of paper has writing on it, I make sure that the writing is the way it should be. Same up and down. Uh, this one, the writing was a little sideways on it. I'm good with how it is sitting like that. So your pull will have to go on like this to keep that writing where it needs to be. All right, and then I flip it over, add more Fabrifix to the edge of my lace, and then all the way to the end of my little scrap piece. So we know it's gonna be good and adhered on. You can hold it with the middle, in the middle of the lace, and we're just gonna make a little sandwich. Let's do here. And then flip it over. And adhere there. And then come around here and make sure that your little spot, your little piece that you're using is where you want it in the center. Okay, and then you're going to, before it all gets um, dry, you're going to close it up and make sure that it is where you want it to, to be. And I want it to come up just a touch. So I'm going to move up on my lace a little bit. Move that up. Then fix that there. There we go. And let's clean that off. And I am going to put something, something in there. So let's do this little envelope. Fold it in half so that we can go on to the rest of the journal while that dries. So I'm just covering that up. All right, on this little uh, back side of the book page, I put a um, cut apart from one of my pieces of collection that I have in my stash. And then that was another piece like we did on that bag pocket. And I just made a tag out of that, a taller tag so that 
the lace pull that we put on the top of it shows out of the top of the journal. Uh, this back side, I just put a little number label on the back side of that um, book page piece, and I left that as is just because it's just so pretty right through there. I just love that. And the back side of it too, very pretty. But I thought that one more of our little cluster, 12 by 12 page clusters, would look nice right there. And I'm thinking I will just adhere it on the edges so that it can be, and maybe up there a little bit, so that that can be a little tuck right there. So let's use what we have left of, a, of our um, 1 4 inch score tape. I gotta get some more of that too if I don't have any more in my drawer back here and make ourselves a little tuck space. Go up there and there. Take off our backs of our score tape and then we have got a nice little tuck to go on the edge of this page okay and uh, push it down some with our bone folder okay and then a nice tuck space there and um we can add That little piece there if we wanted to um or we could make it a little smaller piece and there cute i like that all right and then in this back pocket i have one of the little notepads i made from watching miss julie at camellia crafts designs and then that is one of our watercolor stamped tags that we made a few videos back. So I really like how this has come together, y'all. Okay, we're good there. That can be, oh, let's add on our little tag back from where we put that Rick Rack ribbon down. Rick Rack ribbon. Let's add that to here. You just have to be um, a little easy with that book page because that is real vintage um, dictionary book page there so it's kind of crumply so you have to watch that let's see here that was one that just come out let's move our little envelope over okay and then tie up and see if there's anything that needs to be moved jostled around some maybe that and we can tie it as tight as we would like it's not gonna hurt anything it is a slippery little booger though and look at that y'all okay so we have i love stuff sticking out of the top i love stuff sticking out of the edge of the side there i love that that is one cute journal y'all if I do say so myself. I like this one. This is a cherished one, but I, I've i got so many journals and some that I have not even written in yet. I have got to start selling some of my journals. So there is a side view. Look at that. So pretty. We'll do a final little flip through. Tag, journal card, hidden um, paper clip with pocket. Another little pocket. Lots and lots of journaling space, y'all. So many spots to journal. I love, 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 love this journal. Very cute. Now, we did get some glue residue from the back side of that pocket, but once that dries completely, you're going to have um, enough room and uh, it is going to be dry enough to journal on that back side pockets there in our bag pocket little floating ephemera pocket there 
cute little accent on that ledger paper. Little flip out there with the tucks in it and all the little goodies in the tuck. Little clipped on uh, master board tag there. Clipped on journal piece there. Dolly. Tuck space there, large tuck space that covers up most of that, but you could do some secret journaling back behind there if you wanted to. Our middle book page pocket with the two tags, our first little lace pull there, cameo cluster, dolly, our little ATC pocket clipped on there, our probably one of my favorite things in the whole journal and it didn't take what like two minutes to make it that was still gluey at the top that's why it's stuck there look at that i just love that little fold over for that book page that's cute little journal spot clipped on there our rick rack ribbon there another one of our um side stack tucks there with the hidden little gem there in the back Lots of journaling space, some Tim Holtz fabric tape, a little banner tuck there, cameo cluster on that book page, dolly, we've got another vellum pocket there. That would be so cute for some vintage photos to be put in there. Mm, very cute. Got a middle page belly band there. Then a postcard tuck there, another lace tag pull there, pocket here with a tall tag, plenty of room for journaling on the back side of that tag, and this um, vintage page, and then a little tuck there in the back, and we are back to the back cover <laughs> with our tag and notepad of paper there. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me fill up this glorious journal, and I hope that um, you got some inspiration and ideas on how you can um, decorate your journals just with scraps. It does not have to be full pages of things that you take away and add to your journals. It can be all kinds of scrap stuff. So, hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see you in the next video. God bless. You are my people. Thank you so much for visiting and being a subscriber and supporting my channel. I appreciate you so much. Y'all have a great day. See you later. Bye, y'all.